Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to our lecturer Dr. Zalina binti Osman. So for food processing course, uh, we are going to uh, present to you the uh, company that we have chosen before, which is Gardenia Bakery Senja Bahad. So the reason why we choose uh, this company is because. Uh, this company is very familiar with uh, Malaysian people or Asian people uh, as this uh, food industry is uh, very big and we want to know about their unit operation, formulation and so on. So first of all, I'm going to introduce to you our group members from group 7. We have Nur Fatin Fariha, Nurul Ain Cimamat, Shuaina Shafi, Rohaini Ruben and um, Yono Foso Laura. So, uh, what uh, we are going to discuss the introduction or history of the Gardenia, their product formulation, product packaging, unit operation design, certification of plan, economic point of view, and a conclusion of this presentation. So as introduction um, for their history, um, Gardenia was developed by an American called Horatio C. So um, he worked uh, with International Executive Service Corps and uh, they uh, going to expand, uh, they had expand their uh, product in East Malaysia, uh, Brunei and Republic of Indonesia as their product always meet the needs of customer in terms of their uh, quantity, quality and um, their product is uh, very trust because of their labeling and formulation. So they keep continue uh, to invent or to expand uh, their product with many varieties uh, and they uh, have a lot of franchise in Asia uh, one of uh, so this uh, picture shows a certain product that they produce the first picture is their classic uh, classic product which is plain bread and the uh, next pictures um, they produce a chocolate spray or jam a kaya jam uh, and they also produce uh, varieties of bread uh, chocolate bread uh, vanilla and so on so um, the uh, last picture shows a uh, roti roll up wrap with it can uh, we, we can use it as uh, to make a sandwich and so on so they are being creative with their product so that they, they can expand to uh, many countries and do uh, franchise in Asia Assalamualaikum and good morning my name is Nafatin Kaya Bendi Mama Yusof so I will continue the presentation with product formulation and packaging so before I go to the um, process of the product formulation, uh, so before uh, this step is uh, being done, um, uh, as, the, as the initial step which is input, the high quality control team that provided by Gardenia itself must make sure that all the ingredients and raw material are in the best quality. Then this uh, quality control team also need to go through a few process such as selection, purchasing, checking, and specification of the quality of the product and also the ingredients. So uh, uh, then we go to the product formulation step. First one is the automatic blending, automatic blending that use computer system. This uh, this uh, this step use computer system uh, in order to uh, make sure that the equal goodness for every lot of bread is produced. And then uh, followed by the process mixing of the ingredients that consists of flour, purified water, 
yeast, uh, vitamin, and also minerals. So these special ingredients are used to form the sponge that will be um, that will be released into a trough. Then followed by the fermentation process that will be done in the fermentation room uh, that has operating condition of control temperature and heat. Uh, next is after the fermentation process is done, the dough is mixed again with other ingredients, then processed to the dividing dough into a standard weight for every loaf. Uh, then this, pro um, this process is continued uh, with the rounder process and also process of checking the weight for every dough. Uh, so uh, as the divider process and also the rounder process is done, uh, the dough is going to uh, going through the intermediate proper and it will be left to the rest for 10 minutes in the in intermediate proper. Then it is molded and placed into the baking pans. Um, before the break is baked, the dough is going to the final proof stage um, where at this stage the yeast arise under the control temperature and humidity. Then after the dough is arise into um, into desired height, then it is ready to be baked in tunnel oven for 20 minutes at a certain temperature with 20 degrees. Before the bread is been um, sliced and packed, the bread will undergo a cooling process for one hour in the cooler and the process uh, is followed by the uh, automatic slice and bagger. So um, Gardenia use automatic slice and bagger to pack the bread product. And for, the, uh, for this step, it will be going through a mechanical packaging before being sealed with a pre-lot specs that printed with the use by date. It also used the G-lock in its uh, packaging. G locks is a clip that locks the brake tightly in the package that also can keep the freshness and ensure that the brake retains its quality, including the flavor, aroma, and also the soft. Patients are and I'm called Laura, and I'll be talking about the Gardenian process technology. Gardenian has meant it as an ordinary development and domination in Malaysia because of its unique bread making technology and ideology. Every loaf of Gardenia bread is baked using the traditional sponge and dough method. This method of bread making allows the dough to grow naturally, resulting in a more flavorful loaf. Gardenian texture and flavor are distinct, and the product shell life is organically extended. It takes about 8 hours to make each loaf from the initial combining of ingredients to final wrapping. The finding supports the old adage of doing things properly the first time, as evident by Malaysian preference for a soft and delectable sandwich bread. Gardenia's strict adherence to factory hygiene combined with natural substitutes like raisin juice, concentrate, and vinegar allows the company to manufacture bread that contain no artificial synthetic or unnatural ingredients in Malaysian preference. Then we have the Gardenian Philippines had lately unveiled a new P1 billion per facility that can manufacture up to 6,000 loaves per hour, which is 50% increase over its present capacity. And additionally, robotics and newest available technology in modern baking were brought in from top baking suppliers from across the world, including Germany. The, night, the entire operation for ingredient handling to make, uh, make up system is completely controlled too. So gardenia breads are totally undisturbed by humans. The use of robotics to handle baking pans and proprietary depending method that promises to, to be friendlier to bread and very clean and free from crumbs. The new facility also makes the current good manufacturing practice and the highly globally recognized for quality and safety standards set by International Organization for Standardization and the hazard analysis and critical control point. It employs one of the most technological and advanced envir and environmentally friendly life skills. Then we come to the unit operation and process. First, we have the gardenia, the input. Gardenia has established a high quality control team to ensure that all components and new raw materials are fresh and of high quality. From selection purchase to the strictly inspect and specify the previous quality and finest ingredient. Next, we have the process. Gardenia's new facility is equipped with cutting edge technology that meets the on while the worldwide baking industry process standard. It uses a unique process to make bread. Big bread. The entire bread making process is truly controlled by quality controllers who are well trained. They inspect the entire process to guarantee that all the high quality bread reach the market and satisfy the 
requirement. So we have the automatic blending, a computerized system control kicks off the manufacturing process. Being blended, the needed number of high quality components needs to ensure that each loaf is, ident is identical quality. Production of, and then we have a production of sponge mix. The sponge mix is with specialist. The sponge is made with specially formulated gardenias enhanced flour, filter water, yeast, vitamins, and minerals, which are then released into into a trough. Then we have the fermentation room. The post the, the, the fermentation room. The sponge room is then fermented in a temperature and humidity controlled environment. The fermentation process contributes to the texture, aroma, and flavor of gardenia. Bread. Then we have the production of the dough mix. At this stage, the sponge is mixed again with other ingredients to form the dough. Mixing the has two functions. So even it distributes the various ingredients and allows the develop of a, uh, of a protein network to give the best bread possible. Once the bread is mixed, it is then left to rise. Then we have the divider. After that, the dough is separated into standard way for each loaf and transported into a rounder and check wear. Industrial bread system includes divider conicals and molds. They are available from 120, 1,200 to 900 pieces per hour, and are ideal, ideal for a variety of dough handling uh, capabilities. Then we have the intermediate proofer. The dough is then set aside to rest in for intermediate proofer for 10 minutes, and then just being molded and placed into a baking pan. The function is to give the necessary resting time to recently divide the dough portion in order to let them lose the tension acquired in that process and ease the lengthening in the next step of the process. Of the production process which is forming then we have a final proofer the formation of the the function of the final proofer is to enable the yeast to contribute leaving gases to the air cell that already exists within the dough protein structure thus enlarging the size of the mold dough paste by a factor of about three to four the yeast is then allowed to rise and even more in this last proper stage which controls the temperature and humidity now next we have the tunnel oven. The tunnel ovens are indeed uh, for baking all types of baking products, mainly the ray and the ray wheat bread, white cartridge, cookies, confectionery prepared goods. The linear breads are baked in the state act of the tunnel oven for 20 meters at 20 degrees Celsius. Then we have the automatic slider and the banger. The bread should be kept in the refrigerator for about an hour. After that, it will be ready to slice and pack. The linear pack is mechanically sealed before the bean automatically sealed with key logs that have the use by date printed on them. Then the linear package future for gin log, which is a clip and that slowly seals the garden bread in its package, preserve freshness and control the best flavor, aroma and softness. And finally, we have the output. All of the basic components have been transformed into a useful finished product. The company product is available at supermarket, grocery stores, and so on. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. I'm Rohaini. So I will proceed on the plant certification of Gardenia Bakeries KL in Malaysia. So the Gardenia Bakeries in Malaysia ensure the customers that their production is comply with the international standards and safe for human or animal consumption. Firstly, the level of preservative used in the bread, which is propionic acid, is below the permit amount under the Food Regulations 1985. According to the regulation, bread is allowed to contain preservative or propionic acid in amounts not exceed 2000 mg per kilogram. The brand was the first bakery in Asia to be awarded with the ISO certification in 1996 and the quality management systems of Gardenia in Malaysia is ISO 9001-2008, certified from the year 2003 to 2009. And in 2018, the company further attained ISO 22000-2005 certification and ISO 20000-2018 certification in 2020. Furthermore, Gardenia also been certifi certified with the ISI 2020 certification by the RISIS, which is Research Institute of Standards in Islam, in compliance with Islamic standards. Gardenia used the Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point, HSCCP, system at all stage of food production and preparation. Gardenia has been awarded with the HSCCP certification by the CIRIM QAS International Senior Number High back in 2005. Other than that, Superbrands Malaysia also has certified Gardenia Malaysia with three consecutive terms award from 2002 until 2006. Gardenia also is the most preferred brand for foodstuff category according to consumer survey and have won the Putra brand award for several years and also recently. At Gardenia, a special halal committee is formed which consists of halal committee chairman, head of halal committee and halal committee members 
to analyze every aspects of halal regulations for the company. All Gardenia products have been certified halal by JAKIM certification and the overall operations of company are following the guidelines set by the JAKIM officer and regular factory inspections also being conducted from time to time to monitor the factory compliance with given guideline. And Gardenia also convinced its customer that the bread they are consuming is a healthy diet as the bread contain low adipose tissue fat storing capacity that helps consumer in better having control over obesity. The products also assist to keep a stable blood sugar level and non as diabetic friendly and diet friendly products. That's all from me. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm Nurul Ain bin Uchi Imamat and I'll be presenting the economic point of view. Next. Okay, the global pandemic COVID-19 gives an advantage to many bakery industry to emerge in the markets to cutter the inflated demand. Uh, the global, de uh, the global uh, bread in, uh, market is estimated to be valued at USD 3.3 billion in 2019 and is projected to reach USD 4.7 billion by 2025. This growing market demand is due to the rising awareness on health and food safety, which indirectly increase the demand for the whole wet and multi-green breads. Moreover, based on the figure shown, Asia-Pacific are steadily keeps increasing for the demand on, of the on-the-go breakfast products. Oops, sorry. Um, uh, next, South, Southeast Asia bakery product market was valued around USD 30 million in 2020 and is projected to grow at CAGR of 7.7% during the forecast period 2021 until 2026. And the uh, major key players in the market include QAF Limited Gardenia Bakery KL Sendian Berhad, President Bakery Public Company Limited, and lastly Mondelez International. And uh, this is the market summary for the uh, for Gardenia. The first one, we go to the target market. The target market of Gardenia bakeries in Yambar Hat are customer market, reseller market, and also government market. The customer market consists of individual and household, while reseller market consists of retailer, supermarket such as Care for and Tesco, and convenience stores such as 7-Eleven and stores at petrol station. And finally, the government market, which include the hospitals. Next, we go to market demographics. Uh, the demographic is defined as how market will divide the market into categories such as age, gender, income, and ethnic background. For Gardenia, it focuses on age factor. So when Gardenia segment consumer into teenagers, adults, and senior citizens. In doing that, Gardenia provides variety of products to fulfill all the needs. Teenager, which is very energetic, will require some source, uh, some source to fight their hunger, and in the same time, they are more likely to consume product which is sweet taste. So Gardenia had come up with a new waffle products to meet their to meet their demands. They also focus on adults and senior senior citizens that demand for healthy diet. So Gardenia launched whole wheat fiber bread and the latest gardenia breakthrough that contain a high level of vitamins and fiber. Next, we go to market environment, which is more to economic factor. So the economic factor consists of factors that affect the consumer purchasing power and spending, uh, spending patterns. So consumer at different income level, we have different spending uh, patterns. For instance, Consumer with, uh, with higher income will choose more expensive bread with special uh, features. On the other hand, the underclass consumer usually make further consideration before buying to reduce their expenses uh, when purchasing. So the economic forces will also affect a company uh, will also affect a company's uh, marketing plan. Lastly, we go to marketing strategy for Gardenia. So the key for, uh, to the marketing strategy of Gardenia is focused on the satisfied consumer's demand by introducing uh, the different kind of product, eating healthy lifestyle, and also the halal status of Gardenia in Malaysia. So Gardenia's range of product grew and evolved through the years, becoming better and better with each step. 
So Gardenia now produce a variety of baked uh, product to satisfy consumers' uh, demands. Also, the Gardenia also stressed about the eating healthy lifestyle by introducing the Gardenia's breakthrough, which is the diabetic friendly bread. While for the halal status of Gardenia bread, a special halal committee is formed to scrutinize every aspect of the halal regulations. As an added measure to control and safeguard of halal status, Gardenia has appointed an independent consultant whom Gardenia could refer to in Sharia related matters. That's all from me. Thank you. So as a conclusion, Gardenia known as market leader in banking sector and not only in Malaysia but Asian nation such as Brunei, Indonesia and so on. So with a world class production facility uh, facilities so the quality of product is high uh, with a great tasting bakery product so they also having halal logo and follow food regulation so this uh, can build customer trust and uh, shareholder to trust uh, to their company so that's all from us thank you